cad red and cad yellow mix radiance orange. So I'm not going to uh, mix those colors together. I'm going to dip into my red, dip into my yellow, tap, 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 so you get the two colors to match. Look, see it? That'll, so whatever's there should come off in your canvas. So let's pick some spots for some leaves. Just a few little, little ones. This is all just tap, tap, little tap. Just to give it some color. Okay, so I'm just going to pick out a few little... I'm just using the corner of my brush right now, but um, you can use the full brush. Just experiment and see what will happen. Just add a few little... And I'm not going to reload. I'm going to use up whatever I have on my brush so I won't get too many. And so some of them will look like they're faded out a bit, okay? really don't want to have too many blobs of color. All right, reload a little tiny bit for the other side. All right, so you just add a little bit of color to your painting. It's not that. I don't know why that's doing that. Okay, it's better. See? So if you don't reload, it'll fade out so it won't look so. And you can put them over the trees a little bit, just whatever's left over, because that way you want they'll be faded and you won't get too much going on there and it won't look overpowering. But it gives it a nice little flavor. Maybe there's some fell down there. We'll put some down there in a minute. Right. Now it's closer to you, so you can add you can reload your brush, and you can put a bigger one, something here if you want to. Something coming in from there. Nice orange. You can see how cad yellow and cad red makes a beautiful, beautiful autumn color, or orange color, I should say. Look at that. Let's, let's make it look like it's just falling out of there. Push it out. It's a tree that's out here. All right, now let's get some white on your dirty brush. Let's pick up some white. Add a little bit of white on the edges of that. Just a little tap. Okay, see it. Not too much. Okay, I think we're okay there. Let's see how we can put a couple on the ground there. That will give it a nice bit of color too. So just take a small round brush with your orange and red. I just ran it through the orange and red. And I'm just going to say that some leaves fell down. I'm just going to touch. I'm not going to do any rubbing or scrubbing. I'm just going to touch. I'm going to add a little tiny bit of white to that just so you can see it. A few leaves fell down. I had a bit too much water in there. Okay. Smaller back here because they're not as you closer to you can make a couple of bigger ones. I'm not going to put too many there, but you can put as many as you want, but you don't want to make it too busy, because if it gets too busy, then you get lost in it, you know? I'm too busy. Although, you know, you're having so much fun, you just keep wanting to, wanting to add and add and add to it. You just just keep going, yeah, that looked look good there, yeah, that looked look good there, yeah, oh no. Too many. So because it's light down there. Let's add a little bit of white. Put some bright ones down there. Just a little bit. Something going on down there. What's going on down there? We're going to have some people walking on that. You know, I think this forest needs a couple of extra trees there. I'm, I'm kind of thinking that we need something here. It looks too open. Do you think? I'm just going to add a couple more there in the back. 
looks kind of lonely back there. Now you don't have to do this, I'm just um, just trying it out to see what it looks like. But I think it, it, it needs a little more because you know when you think your painting is finished, it's not really finished. You just go back in and see what you want to add to it, and if you want to improve on it or whatever you want to do. But when you stand back and say, oh yeah, that's done, have another look, have a second look. See if you can see anything that needs to be worked on. Something that might make it look even better. So I think that's better because it was kind of empty back there. But it's so nice the way the, the, the trees back there, they just fade out. Isn't that nice? And then as they come closer, they get really, really dark. Um, these trees here can be a little darker, maybe. Let's see. So if you need to clean up any of those trees to make them look nicer, you can add your dark colors and you can darken them up if you like. Darken them up, thicken them up, whatever you think it needs. Whatever you think. This one's closer so I'm trying to make it look thicker. better. It's a little bit crooked here. The trees don't have to be completely straight. You don't want telephone poles. But we want them to stand out a little bit. Put your highlight back on if you lost it. This one here. One here, they're all good. And there. So, the more puttering around you do it, sometimes you can putter around and then you, you make a mess of it and you ruin it. But there's a lot of times you can putter around with it. As long as you work on the small details, not huge areas, big areas, that's going to be very difficult to fix up. But if you work on small details at the end, then you will, your painting will look better. Because the more detail that's in your painting and the more highlights and the more shadows and um, all kinds of things that can go on in a painting, it'll look better. It'll, it'll be, you can, it'll be more detail for people to look at. And, and paintings have a lot more detail in them are good sellers. Right? And you gotta have it so that it's not too busy too, right? So, you know, lots of detail without being too busy. So it's a lot, it's a lot to learn. But uh, it's coming along. I'm going to take my small round brush and I'm going to add a bit of white to it a little bit of red. And I'm going to try to add a few little flowers to this edge here just because it's closer and maybe we can add a few little extra flowers here like this. See? Just little dabs. More white than red. And that will give that small detail I was talking to you about. It'll look like it's uh, because it's closer to us. You'll be able to see some more flowers. We didn't bring some up here. See, some over here too. 
Just tapping them on, that's all. You want to bring some up to make them look like they're taller. You can do that. And so, I'll just little. Don't need much here. Down here is nice and bright, but they're bright anyway. So I just added a few on the bottom there. Just trying to look for small details to bring it out more. Okay. Get a small bristle brush if you have one. If you don't, what a small brush you have there should work. We're going to put a, um, a light a glow from this here, okay, from the light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of yellow on my brush, and my brush is dry. I didn't put any water on it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take some yellow paint. Look how messy my palette is. Oh well. <laughs> Not much fun. You don't make a mess, hey? So then we got some white paint with the yellow. So now I have my brush, there's too much paint on it, okay? So see that? So what you're going to do now is you're going to take some paper towel and you're going to wipe it off in your paper towel. Okay? And then you're going to take what's left over on your brush and you're going to scrub. Now I don't know if you want a round one or if you want it to shine out as if it's shining out. I wonder what will look better. I think shining out might look nice for a change. For a change. What do you think? Looks alright. We need a whiter than that. So pure white. It's okay to have a bit of yellow on it. Wipe it off in your tissue. Pure white. Now we already got a bit of yellow on there, but we need it whiter. So you can see it. Okay, there it is. It's a lot of light coming from there, see? Maybe it's a little bit come from the back, too. Not sure, you know, because like you say, you're not there, but you have to imagine it. I, I'm trying to imagine what, how much light it would be. Let's add more white. I'm going to add more white, but if you like it the way it is, you don't have to do that. I'm wiping it off my tissue. All right, just got some white left on it. And I'm going to add more. I think this should do it. All right, so I'll leave that. And if you want to add more and play around with it, you go right ahead. All right. Hmm. Pretty bright, isn't it? That's okay. All we need to do now is add the add the little people. All right, so I'm going to get the people ready for you. Now this part here, we're going to draw on the people that are walking down. Now you can use anything you want. You can have a, a person, a little boy walking down with it, a little dog. You can have someone riding on a bike. Um, but and you can get some clip art and um, get the clip art and trace it out. Trace it on your canvas. You can use carbon paper if you like. Uh, or you can do a freehand. Draw it on a piece of paper first, what I recommend, and then transfer it to your canvas using some carbon paper. That should help. So right now, to put these in here so we can see, I'm going to use pure black. That way you'll be able to see it better. So I'm just going to go with the umbrella. So like I say, put whatever you want there. I'm trying to small and round brush. So small round brush. If you find that too hard to work with, then get a small chiseled edge brush. Small as you can find. Or even a filbert. As long as the filbert is Chiseled. Well, this is chiseled. 
synthetic. Alright, I'm just trying this brush to see how it works. And now for the people, just fill it in. Just as long as you get the outer shapes, just get the shapes first, and then we can highlight a few edges to make it look, uh, just bring out some of the shapes more. So we'll say, let's see now, we've got the drawing on there, so make sure you got your drawing on there. Try to do a freehand like this. You could probably do it, just a lot of people out there got the patience to, to do all that. But if you don't, draw it on a piece of paper first and then transfer it to your canvas. Let's see, now I may just fill it all in. Small round brush is doing okay. Doing okay so far. So like I say, you can have any anything there that you want. You may have to reload your brush a few times. Tall enough there. Let's see, let's see. A little bit of space here. All right. So I would suggest that you. Now her feet are going to come down about the same as his. That's not too bad. They're walking around, enjoying the nice forest. Any touch-ups you think you need. But don't look too bad. Yeah, that's not bad. We'll make him have a little bit of a bigger head. That's better. Oh, and then we have to have a little something to hold on to that umbrella. So it should be down here somewhere. That's better. Okay, now, to make the ground look wet, let's put some squiggly lines down here. So make some squiggly lines. If you don't have enough white here, put it back. Little squiggly lines to show. Let's see, about as tall as this guy, so about down to here, I would say. And this one here. So at least it makes it look like uh, the ground is wet, see? Hopefully you can see that. If there's not enough white there, just pick up some white. I just go across a little bit of that just to bring it out a bit more, see? That's all. That's all. But those dark lines, they will make it look like there's a reflection. See, it looks like a reflection. I've got to get closer for you so I can show you how to do some of the highlights. Right, there we go. 
So let's fix this up here. I think I got that a little bit crooked. Now, get some white paint on your dirty brush so it'll be a bit gray. It won't be too white. Just on your same small brush. Okay. So you want to make him look like he's got his arm around her. So what we'll do is put a highlight there just to make it look like, hopefully you can see this now. So start from his shoulder and imagine where his arm is coming down. And just put a little bit of white on the edge here just to make it look like he's putting his arm around her. And we'll also put some white because the light is shining on those guys. We'll put a little light on the edge of her hair. See that? And on the edge of the umbrella, just because the light is shining on there. And on the edge of her shoulder. It was too bright. I had a little bit of darken up it with some bit of black paint there to gray it up a little bit. We don't want it too bright. Add a little bit on the edge. And that makes it look more a little more realistic. A little bit realistic. And that's his arm. I don't need much there because he's over in the shadow part now. Let's have a look at the painting now and see what else we need. Let's look for small details this time. Like I say, you think your painting is finished, but it's not really. You can add more things to it. So I'm thinking that maybe there's a little bit of light coming down on the street here a little bit with some white make a few squiggly lines let's think maybe there's a little bit of light coming down underneath here just you never know from the light just a little bit no need to uh, do too much there now what else can we do let's see So I can't see too much, but I, you know, you might want to, if you want to dab on a few more flowers here, you know, just going up a little bit, just add your purplish color that you made with the white and the white, red, and blue. Um, this here, a nice orangey color. You can just use your uh, bristle brush, but I don't want to do too much more with it. I can do, you know, you can do lots with it, but um, if you want to add more of these orangey flowers in there. You can certainly do that if you want to take some cad, cad yellow and cad red. Just put it on a liner brush or chiseled edge brush. Not a chisel, I don't think that work. A bristle brush. That might work better. You make a bit of orange. I can add a few more leaves. Just tap them on with the, with this brush if you want to or you can use the uh, I like to brighten it up a little bit there just just to give it a little more color now see but you can even take a sponge and tap on some of these really pretty leaves you can put them in different places the sponge really works for leaves and foliage just add some red and yellow, even a bit of white, brighten it up. See? And then you can put them wherever you think you need them. A little bit on the ground. See when you touch, they just spread right out. 
is so pretty. Look. So where else do you think you need them? Let me see. Drop a few in here and here. Probably some little ones down here. Make it nice and bright and colorful. Can you add some more? Add more here. Just let it hang right down. There we go. See how more bright and colorful there? Just by adding a bit of white to your yellow and red. See that? So just tap, 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 tap. Just tap over a few that you already did to thicken them up. Depends on how bright you want, how much, how much you want there. Just tapping with your sponge is great. And add some more white. Brighten up this area here. Pretty. I don't think I need much more any. I don't think. Just kind of don't want to get too carried away with it now. I think I should leave that. Add a few little Sponge is what really, really makes makes it easy to get those foliage on. And you can add a bit of white and then you can brighten them up. See how they brighten up when you add white? You know, when you add white to your... There we go. Let's see what else we could do. You just add a little bit more down to these pinky flowers. Pinkish. Just by adding some, make it purple like you did before. And then you can add white. White really brightens everything up. You can add those on top here just to bring them to life and thicken them up. There we go. Make them a little taller, especially down here. And then just some white. It really brightens them up. See how white brightens everything up. You can have any colors you want down there if you want to add whatever colors that uh, if you want to add some fall colors you can do that too the red and the yellow and you can put that on your sponge and then you can add that down there too just to brighten it up I'll add a few little ones down here see so that so now the pole light street lights. We'll straighten that up and we'll go into our black with our chiseled edge brush and we will touch and pull down get us nice and straight. Give it a bit of an edge there. A little thicker than I hoped, but you can make it nice and thin by just taking your chiseled edge brush and touch and pull straight down. Okay. I 
find that a little too thick. I'm gonna go back to my background color. I'm gonna try and make that a little thinner. So you can always fix up anything that you don't like. There's no sense looking at it and then painting over it and everything. You don't need to paint over your paintings. Depends on how bad they are. If you have any paintings out there that you're not sure if you should paint over them or not, send them to me at uh, alisonpriorityahoo.com and well, we'll have a look at them together and see if maybe we can save your painting or add something to it to make it look prettier. So I mean even just adding some of those leaves, extra leaves, and uh, really making that bush over here nice and big and full of light makes a big difference. I added some nice orange colors to the, to the purple down here. There we go. And so you can save your painting. Takes a bit of uh, patience. And, um, but it can be done. So when I'm doing videos, I might do them and then I'll go back after and look at it and say, oh, well, you know, this needs to be improved and that needs to be improved. And I want to show you how, and this is a good lesson for learning how to improve your paintings and how to fix them up and how to add things and take things out. And so... Don't uh, don't throw away your paintings yet. Don't paint over them. Let me see them first. And uh, don't send me anything that you really love because if I make if I say we'll add this and do this and do that, then you might be disappointed. But if you've got something you really really don't like, you really want to improve, then send me that. But uh, if you already like it, don't. Don't send me anything that I, I might say, well, you should do this, you should do that. You'd be disappointed because you, if you like it, if you love your painting, then that's all that matters. So let's play around with this up here. Let's see, let's see. What can we do with this to make it better without totally destroying it? <laughs> let's see. A little bit down here. Make it more full. A little bit of a line here. It looks a little better already. And maybe we can add, maybe, maybe, maybe we can add a little top to it. All street lights are different. You can look at some pictures to see which one you like the best. You know, even that, those little things can help. You know, anything at all that will bring it out a bit. And you know what I think will be cute there? Maybe some flowers or something hanging off it. Let's make some flowers. Let's take um, a sap green, nice and dark. Take sap green and just tap on a few little places that you would like some flowers. So we'll just say few flowers hanging off. So we'll make the dark green first just to get it started, just so we can get the shape of where we want everything. All right, so just tap that on with your round brush. It's just sort of hanging around. There we go. Now we'll go into some yellow. Brighten it up. We'll add little dabs of little dabs on top of what you just did. There we go. Little dabs of flowers. Okay. So you want to be able to see them better. So make sure add a bit of white to your color. See? You know how some of the street lights you see in your downtown area, wherever you see them, and they have all these flowers hanging off the pole. Isn't that cute? We'll do the same. How about that? 
So you can see where I get my ideas just by looking around. Actually, probably a lot of paintings similar to this on on the internet that you get some ideas from. Maybe in Pinterest. All right, let's try a little bit of um, orangey color to that. Just that, just a little bit of orange into your on your brush. Just add a few little ones in between what you did. That's all. Just a little bit of orange, you know, different colored flowers. See? Isn't that pretty? Let's see what else we can add to that. Maybe a bit of white, and I think that should do it. So just dip into your white. Dirty brush is fine. This small round brush, see? Small round. And just a few little white ones, because not too much, because we don't want to overpower it, but a little few white ones just to bring it out a little bit. There we go. Pick different spots. Don't cover up what you just did. The light is shining off it up here. On that side. All right, so I think we're almost Isn't that pretty. A few little ones back there. I don't want them to be too bright because I think this is where the light might be glowing on them. Now, see, that's really pretty, isn't it? Doesn't that add to your painting? There's so many things you can do to make your painting really nice. Just take the time to do it. Very good. So I think that's about it. Um, you know, I could do more with the trees. I could add more trees, but I think I'll leave it. And um, that's prettier than uh, when I was starting at first. So like I say, the more you add, it can come. It can be very nice. So that's it for that. So if you see anything else in your painting, you can correct it. You can put, even put some more dark lines here. Her feet are down here so you can match them up so that they're both together. Little details. Just put these little lines in and that way it will make it look like it's the, the, pay, the road you're walking on is wet. See? Good.